Hi, this is Davina and welcome to my life page. Today I'll be talking to you about uh, why to become a cabin crew. That's the most important question which we all have in mind. Well, before I get to that, I would like to introduce myself. I passed my schooling, my 12th, from St. Thomas's Girls School, Kolkata, and then did my graduation from IGNO. Um, after, I have, uh, after I finished my class 12th, I got into the hotel industry for a year. And uh, continuing my job, I got an offer with Gulf Air based in Bahrain. That was an international airlines which I was flying for in 1999 uh, until 2004. In the meantime, I did my graduation with IGNO, Dehradun. And presently, I am working uh, as a trainer in soft skills, grooming and in aviation dream big and want to fly high. That's the main motive. Main thing is to take responsibility, have taking passengers from one destination to the other destination and to give them the best of service and always to keep our organization name high. Okay, let's talk about uh, education. You need to be minimum basic class 12 pass and uh, if you have a graduation, more and good. You always have an open vision. You always can do much better and better option in life later on. And if you see the future. Uh, now, where grooming is concerned is the most important and priority thing. You need to have a clear complexion with no pimples. You need to have a beautiful smile with no dental problems. Your alignment of your teeth has to be perfect. You are not supposed to have tattoos visible tattoos on your neck region, on your face, on your arms or maybe on your legs, probably on your neck region or on your chest region which should not be seen, which should not be visible. You are not supposed to have any kind of piercing or for example, you, you are not supposed to have a nose swim. You are not supposed to have any kind of piercing over your eyelids or on your tongue or on your chin. Attitude. Like once we get into this job, our dream job, which is the cabin crew job. We are always excited. Um, main thing is time zones. Uh, waking up in the morning, having your breakfast in India and then flying out and having dinner at London, which is the most important thing. But when you keep flying for some time and you, it becomes a daily regime, it becomes on a very daily routine, the same thing again and again and again. So we need to build up that positive attitude, which is very important. For instance, uh, I am. I have fever in the morning, but I am unable to wake up when I have to go for my work. I need to understand and realize that what is my importance, which we look into. Like for example, it is my dream. Why I want to be a cabin crew is one reason is I would love to travel around the world and see whatever I could see. As a cabin crew, we get the we get perks to have our family members or myself traveling around the world during my off time or on when I am on my holidays, probably in ID 90 tickets or ID 50 tickets. Now these are discounted tickets, uh, discounted tickets where you can take your family members with you, perhaps your mom and dad and your, or your siblings or maybe your uh, husbands. When you are working for any kind of an airlines, we are becoming a brand ambassador. For instance, I am working for Spice to have to work under pressure. Now, for instance, uh, I have been as a standby crew, that which means that I am off but I am still on duty. Now, this is something very confusing. It means that when in your roster or a timetable which is written as standby, that means you have to be ready any moment when you are called out at work. You are waiting in your room for a phone call from the office which tells you uh, within two or three hours, you have you need to be ready when the transport will come and pick you up. You are in immense pressure. You are unable to go out or you are unable to go to the shop to buy something. So you have to be ready. So once you get a phone, organized person, when I, uh, for instance, my timing pick up is at 6 o'clock in the morning. I have to be ready by 4, wake up 4 o'clock in the morning and be ready before my transport comes to pick me up. I move into my operation centers where briefing goes on and then from there onwards we are supposed to go 
to the airport and into the aircraft. After I finish my flying and I am back into the hotel, if I am very very tired, probably I'll take a long, I'll, I'll sleep well, I'll, I'll freshen up, have my meal and during that hours, which is normal, normal hours, I generally used to go to the gym, exercise, keep myself fit and fine, or probably if the time space is too difficult, probably I could spend half an hour just doing a yoga so that uh, I could be in my room and spend some few precious time with myself and uh, keeping myself absolutely boosted up so that I have all the energy to spend for the next day. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and have got all the information what you need to become a cabin crew. Wish you all the best and thank you so much.